In today's video, I'm going to show you how to download and install NordVPN on your Mac. The first thing you need to do is to open your web browser and you want to go to the NordVPN website. Now I'll leave a link to this website in the description of this video or in the pinned comment where you can get yourself a discount. From here, you want to go ahead and click on Get NordVPN. From here, you want to choose which plan you want. So if you click on this drop down menu here, you can choose from one month plans, you can choose from one year plans, or you can choose from two year plans which have the highest discount. Now you can compare these plans below. As you can see, the basic plan only comes with the NordVPN. However, the plus plan also comes with threat protection, which is bundled with an ad and tracker blocker. And it also includes a NordPass password manager, which is what I personally like to use. If you choose from the ultimate plan, you get everything that we've already mentioned, but you'll also get one terabyte of encrypted cloud storage, as well as cyber insurance, which has 5k coverage in case you ever get scammed into transferring money to someone. In this example, we are going to choose the basic plan as we only want the NordVPN, but if you are interested in any of the options, you can choose from them. Now we've created our Nord account, we just need to go ahead and download NordVPN. To do this, you want to hover over the download button at the very top, and then you want to click on Mac OS. From here, you want to click on download app, and then it's going to prompt you where you want to save the installer. In this case, I'm going to save it onto my desktop. So now we've downloaded the NordVPN installer, you just want to go ahead and open it up. And here you'll be greeted with the installation guide. So you want to click on continue, and then you want to click on install for all users and click on continue. And again, you just want to click on install. You may be prompted to enter your Mac password, so we're going to do that now. And then you want to click on install software. And this is going to take a few seconds. Now the installation has completed, you'll be greeted with the NordVPN, which should pop up automatically. It will ask you whether you want to agree to the privacy policy. In this case, I'm going to select agree to required. It may also ask you about the presets, and in this case, I'm going to select not now. And as you can see, we have successfully got the NordVPN app on our Mac. All we need to do now to use the VPN is log into our Nord account that we created earlier. So to do this, you want to click on the login button in the top right, and this will redirect you to your web browser to log into your Nord account. So you want to do that now. And now you've logged into your NordVPN account, you can start using the VPN on your laptop just as you normally would. So as you can see, the VPN is currently not activated and it's showing that I'm currently in England, which I am. However, if I go back to the NordVPN, I can select a server from anywhere around the world, either by interacting with this map, or I can choose from a list of countries on the left here. However, I'm going to interact with this map and I'm going to choose a NordVPN server from Texas. Once I click the server, it's going to take a few seconds to connect, and once you are connected, it's going to say in the top. Now we are connected to a server from Texas. If I go back to Google Chrome, and I refresh the What's My IP website, it is now detecting that I am from Texas, Dallas, in the United States. And I can use this tool to unblock content on the internet, such as Netflix movies. If you want to disconnect from the VPN, just simply click on Disconnect in the top right, and after a few seconds, you'll be connected from the VPN server. So if this video is helpful, please leave a like, and if you have any questions or comments, you can leave them below.